Hello world, Randy Savage 5 Zero here. Today I have a video reviewing my 3x magnifier or 3x magnifier, whatever you want to call it. Um, I put it on my AR-15 with my Vortex Spark Red Dot and it lines up pretty well. That was one of my fears when I bought it that it wasn't going to line up well enough, but I actually enjoy it. I bought it for around, I think I got it for about $75 or maybe $65 on eBay. This guy was <clears throat> running a pretty good deal and I said, hey man, um, can I make an offer? He agreed, and I got it for a good price, brand new. Um, I put it on my Colt LE6920, but the red dot was a little bit lower than this one, and it didn't really line up well, so I decided to dig into, safe, dig into the safe and find a rifle where it lined up well, and this is the one. So I'm going to shoot it, see how it is. This will literally be my first shots with this magnifier on here. Um, I believe they sell magnifiers, what, 5X? 7x things like that but this is a 3x this is all i wanted all i needed at the moment and um i think I, i'm gonna enjoy it so i've seen a lot of reviews on it where people are complaining about it being too loose but what i noticed it comes with a, a allen wrench you tighten up this little knob and it tightens it up for you so i'm curious if it's going to stay firm or loosen up as i shoot it we're going to find it out shortly find that out shortly um one of the other things that i found about it from reading the reviews it said it was going to be stiff the sting is spr the spring is stiff and try to fold the magnifier over so if you don't want to use it you fold it over to this side that it's going to be tough to do and that is semi true that is pretty true because it gets it takes a little little bit of force to pull it so you pull over a little bit and there you go i'm left-handed so it's kind of in my way but not really so it's not that big of a deal if you're a left-hander as well i thought it would be but it, it's not so i have it out the way I'm looking through uh, my red dot and I can see everything perfectly. This isn't in, it isn't hindering any of my field of view. That was one of my concerns. I've also heard people try to say that they don't want this here because the rounds may pop out, hit this and jump back in the chamber. I, I haven't found that to be a problem. If you were to scoot it up further, eh, maybe that can happen. One out of a million chances, but I haven't had anything like that happen. So. Let's see. Well, obviously I haven't shot it yet, but I have tried to rack a, put a round in the chamber, swip it out to see if something like that could happen. Didn't happen in my garage, but we'll see here in live fire. Um, as you notice, I don't have a rear sight on here because it's like I have to have this magnifier back far enough in order to get a good field of view on it. If it's up too far on the rail, your hand is going to have to go too close to it to be able to get the good field of vision. If you look in binoculars or any kind of scope, you know what I'm talking about. You have to kind of line your eye up just enough to get it clear where you won't see that black edge and stuff due to the angle. So that's why I have it this far back without a rear sight. And um, we'll see how it is. Now to me, I like backup sights due to what if your red dots die, like my wife's died in our last shooting, so we had to use our backup sight. So if it dies, I'm out of luck, but let's hope it doesn't die. So let's try out this magnifier, see how I like it, see how it fares for me. My wife's behind the camera, that's why I'm nodding. So she's smiling from ear to ear at me, but. Still firm, so it hasn't loosened up. Let's move it out the way and see if anything happens with around maybe bouncing back into the chamber. Let's see. That didn't happen as well, so that's good. I have a problem with my red. I think my battery's dying. Where it is, back on. That sucks, huh? <laughs> Try again. Still firm, it's holding well. Well, there it was. That's a quick release on it as well, so if I wanted to take it off, turn that like that, boom. Easiest pie to take it off. Slap her back on there. A 
I'm failing at my demonstration here. Well, that's a fail. <laughs> Bear with me. There it goes. Had it lined up kind of incorrectly to the previous thing there, but got back on that fast. It's kind of like a delay because user error. I've never taken off, put it back on yet, so sorry. But um, I like it. So far, so good. I wish my radar wasn't going in and out. I think my battery's dying. I don't know, but it lined up well. My target fell over. You've missed it, but the field of view is, is great. It's very clear looking into the magnifier. Um, I have no complaints with it. It's... It's better than nothing, especially trying to see closer. As we all get older, our vision gets a little worse, and we may need some type of magnifier to help us with 25-yard shots, 50-yard shots, anything to help assist us and assist these old eyes that we have. So I enjoy it. I'm glad I spent the money on it. If you're looking for a magnifier for a low price, look up, look up the UTG magazine, uh, UTG magnifier. I like it. But be mindful of whatever the heights are on it. Um, the specific height on this one, luckily, Luckily, it's a good fit for um, this Vortex Spark. But if you have a Romeo 5 uh, red dot, it's not gonna be as even to that. So just take that in your mind, make that a mental note. Also, you can buy different risers and stuff for your red dot. Just know that you may have to do that depending upon um, what red dot you have in conjunction to the magnifier you're trying to put on there as well. So that's my quick review on this UTG magnifier i liked it check it out any more comments any more thoughts of what i can do with it kind of swap it up a little bit or or what other red dots can line up perfectly to it because i'm a guy who likes to buy red dots without having to change out risers let me know in the comments like love subscribe thanks for watching